Yo, what's up guys? It is Welsh here and welcome back to another FIFA 16 video with Watford. Yes, we are doing my career mode on FIFA 16. I want to say thank you very much for joining me, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and if you don't want to miss any videos of mine, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is just down below and I will be very much highly appreciated. So, in the last episode, we did exactly do pretty well. Let's have a quick look at the lead table from the last episode. We are now in 10th place, so we are bang in the middle. So we are kind of doing okay. So let me know in the comment section below where you think we're going to finish. And now let's just have a look and see who we actually play in this episode. Hopefully we have some decent games coming up. We are playing West Ham. Could be a tough fixture. Could be a win on our side. West Ham a decent team this season. Leicester City, we could easily win. And then we got Manchester United, which is going to be another, another tough game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get ourselves at least six points out of possible nine or even four out of nine again. That'll be a nice routine if we can win one, draw one, and lose one. That'll be good because Manchester United is going to be a tough game. But we did draw against Arsenal last time around. So maybe I can actually do pretty well for us. And that gives us a bit of momentum. So now the training session. So last episode, Bernard's been playing well. So you know what? We're going to try to in training session with Morgan Hughes and Ayan. Trying to get the tra center pass trained up right now because we want them to improve. We got a C for Morgan, a D for Hughes. Hughes has not done well at all in the training sessions lately. Dribbling course for Morgan is a D. I am got a D. And then but Bernard's went pretty well in the training sessions. And he did end up getting a B. And we got our first game up against um, West Ham. We're going to jump straight on into it. Can we get ourselves three points? Let's find out. So look at the lineups. So this is our lineup. We go with the usual Morgan and a Halo, we're going to call him because he's an angel. At front, Hughes, Fio on the left, Bernard actually playing in the middle this time round. So on the wing even, I should say. So hopefully we can pick up some form and keep it going. And here is West Ham, Zarate playing. He's going to be one of the main players we need to keep our eye on. And Coyote, um, and also we need to keep our eye on him. Anyways, jump into the game, how will we fare? Oh, here we go, get rid of it. Oh, oh, Gomez, what are you doing? Gomez, oh my god. He literally belted it, but decided to just kick it upwards. Who does that? Honestly. Abo, give that back inside to Morgan. Morgan, 90 up for the finesse. Save, Victor Abo. Oh, it's clear by Collins. We are getting him on, we're getting him on the back foot at the moment. Abo, Victor. See what he can he do with it. He's got his pace. He's got his pace. Collins, though, has got a bit more pace. Come on, Victor, he scores. We scored. Victor Abo makes the change. And he puts it into the back of the net. Victor Barbo Collins, mate. He's so fast. What's your play? We could bring it in January. Oh, here we go. Bernard. Bernard. Screws across to Morgan. Morgan! 2-0! Come on! Bernard and Morgan. Yes, come on, lads. I am. Yes, come on. Bernard Day. Just look at this bit of skill. Oh, that's skill. And then just squares it across and he taps it and whacks it first time. What a booty. What a booty. Straight past the goalkeeper. Morgan with a goal. Just mentioned he hasn't scored in a while and he does. Come on. And we do end up winning our game 2-0. And I just want to mention, if you did see the fact that Nina Evan was in instant replay, the reason behind that is because actually my foot is corrupted. And I didn't notice until like the 80th minute just after the second goal. So half the foot has just gone disappearing. But we do end up winning that game 2-0, which I'm pretty happy with. What a result against West Ham. Three shots and Thomas Morgan got a goal as well. So awesome there. So let's have a quick look at the player ratings. Morgan did end get man of match with a 7.7 .7 rating. Pretty decent. I thought it was a lot, would have been a lot higher than that. The barber got 7.4, so it's not... We had a pretty average game according to ratings. But anyway, let's jump into another training session. See how we can improve this side. So this is a youth player that we got in at the minute. We're going to send our scout out actually this episode. But this guy, 80 odd potential. Do we sign in? We're going to offer him a contract. And... Uh, we're going to check him on for a nah, future first team player. And we're going to leave it like that. He is a can. So I think we could easily send him out on loan. But we can't actually afford his wages at the minute. But we'll sort that in it anyway in a moment. Uh, but anyway, so let's see our scouts. And okay, let's set up a scouting network with our team. And where do we want to look? We want to kind of look, you know, look somewhere a bit uh, different. Let's check down. A lot of people always say to check Asia. So let's have a quick look at this particular area we're not going to try china or uh, south korea japan let's let's try japan let's see if we can find any beasts in japan it'd be pretty awesome 
Technically gifted uh, winger. And uh, let's try and find uh, a defensive minded type player. Let's see what we can actually find there. Who else can we hire? Can we hire another scout? Not really. We can hire this guy. Free judgment, but I would like to get a bit more money into our scouting system. Actually, we'll hire him anyway with a free phrase. Pretty decent. So he's ready to set up another scouting network. So we're going to put this guy down in South America. And we are going to try and look for the next Lionel de Messi. And let's do that type. And we're going to get him to look for anything. Actually, anything in that Argentina. I'm pretty happy with that end. But anyway, so scout networks are going up. And let's do a bit. So it's our squad report. Looking a bit better. Gomez gone up. we got a few players now actually improving, which is quite nice. And uh, Ruben Neves has gone up now. Morgan's gone up by plus three. This guy is growing insanely. And uh, look at you, a lot more growth compared to the last squad report that I showed you guys. So nice little change going on there. Uh, Marshall's gone up. Seems he hasn't actually played quite a bit. I got a feeling we might low Marshall out in January. But so far looking good. Let's have a look at our squad ranking and see who's top. Gomez is top. Morgan is third. Morgan's dropped down after that game. Um, and then Victor Barber was just in second place. So pretty decent. And then Bernard is working his way in. I think Bernard is quality on the right-hand side. And I'm pretty happy with that. Guys, actually, let me know in the comments below. Um, who is your favourite winger? I think that's quite an inter interesting question. Let me know what you think I'm going to finish. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit that like button now. Let's jump in against Leicester and see how we fare. Oh, oh, here we go. Come on, Bernard. Bernard, I was not expecting this to happen. Bernard inside. Shoots. Oh, it's just wide. 18 minutes in. Just wide. Inside Bernard. Oh, lovely Neves. Neves shoots. Oh, I see. On the rebound. Oh, no. Renard. Oh, I see. Yes. Come on, Bitros. He's onside. He's counted. Bitros, the shit Ross. Because he's been doing rubbish, has scored off a rebound 45 minutes in. So look at this now, lot of goal. Header from Hughes. Good save, but he's there for the rebound, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Bitros. 1-0. Uh-oh. Give me it. Yes, good defending, Ian. <laughs> High five. Oh, here we go. Ben Marshall gets past one. Just it across, it's 2 nil. Is that Hughes? No, it's Morgan. Come on. 2 nil. Morgan is back in the game. That's how we've done it. That's how we're doing it, lads. Come on, look at that. Marshall with the assist there. Lovely. He gets past it on the throw-in as well. Just so you know, we've brought on Victor Barbo. We've brought on a Barbo as well. But yes, Morgan. Come on. 2 nil. Through brought the Marshall. Marshall. Marshall's on it. Cuts on in, left foot, it's blocked, Victor Barbo, no! oh my god, Victor Barbo did a Superman dive, but didn't end up doing a Superman header, oh what's he doing, a dirty bugger, come on that was close, almost 3-0, and there it is, we end up winning that game, 2-0 two, two I think it was, against Leicester City, what a result, that is absolutely brilliant, uh, I am chuffed with that, two results, 2-0, two Morgan going on the score sheet. And Bitros Citros scored the first goal for us. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with our results. Let's have a look at the match statistics. Right, here we go. Man of the match didn't actually go to someone on our side. It went to the goalkeeper, which is kind of no surprise. We did bombard them with shots. And uh, our highest rated player was actually uh, Morgan. No, Marshall. We're 7.6 coming on late. Bitros obviously got the 7.2, who lasted the full 90 minutes. But let's see. Yeah, more possession that game. But we had loads of shots, so we made crucial of having our chances. We actually took them, so pretty awesome there. Best of the results around the ground. Liverpool winning, West Brom winning, Swansea, Southampton, and also Everton won this weekend. Right, so let's have a quick look at our emails, you know, do a bit, little bit of admin, you know, chill back, relax. Players leaving on international duty. Not many, actually. Only four players, which is pretty good. Nice to see Morgan's not going, so no injury's going to have you happening there. Update from France. Oh, that's not quite enough. Our uh, youth player has accepted a contract. So let's have a quick look at his rating. He's going to be jumping in, into our side. I should have really left him in the youth academy for like a little while longer. If I'm truthfully honest. There he is. Court says 58 rating. He has potential to be absolutely awesome. 5 foot 11. Somebody actually said that he can grow. So And he has grown by 2 inches already since before. So but anyway, right. Let's jump into our next game. No, actually, we've got a training session to do. Nah, actually, let's just jump into our next game. We're doing a training session. 
and I'm just going to show you the results of the training session. So I did decide just to train Morgan because he's been playing well, so I'm going to utilize him. Um, and of course, he is only 16. I might actually to what what do you think of this guys i want to know your opinion in the comment section below what well, about putting my youth guy on the training session enough for every week so i don't think we really need to improve quite a bit so like b c b d d d b so it's not like brilliant but what do you think about, about me putting my youth player on there so i think we could do that next episode we might be able to sneak one in actually uh actually we could sneak in another training session so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check them on now and let me know your thoughts should i do this constantly should i actually do it all the time of uh, actually putting my youth player on there and keep developing him and see how well he does. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. So, well, before I jump in our final training session, we get, they get transfer offer from Canada. And this is kind of a job which I'm thinking, you know what, actually, I wouldn't mind having Canada and Peru. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to set the Canadian job, just so you know. Uh, very random, I do, I know it's random. We're going as Canada. That's what I mean, I love to do a random team, could be fun. So, but we're not going to play with them just yet. We're going to play the full season, but we are going to sign with them as a contract. So we are going to sign with Canada for internationals. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to feature that in the next episode. So we're not going to do it just yet. We have got an international coming up. So that's what has just come up. So we're not going to play them. We are going to sim them. So I'm just going to give you the sim games. But anyways, check out youth player and see how well he does. Right, okay. So we finished our training session. We're coming up to the Manchester United game. And I'm um, looking at the side, I'm not actually going to change it. Actually, I'm going to make one change even, I should say. We are going to bring on Victor Ibarbo as a striker. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, because Victor Ibarbo usually comes on and destroys the side. Well, see how well he does coming on as a starting, actually, I should say. Hughes did not play well last time, so do we start and don't, don't we? So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to drop Hughes. And I'm going to bring in Cook. We're going to start Cook against Manchester United. This could be a massive risk to try. We're going to leave the rest of the side the same and see how well it goes. So let's jump into the Man United game and see how we do his final game of the episode, guys. Hit that like button. Oh, there, oh, there. It doesn't matter. Hit it. Oh, here we go. Lovely play. It's Theo now. Power over the top. Oh, my God. Bernard, where did you come from? Victor Barbo. He's hit that in. Switch it. Go on, Theo. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. You've got it. Yes. Oh, my God. He's got it. Oh, yes. Here we go. Just cook. On his uh, start the debut. Shoot. Oh, my God. I was trying to hold on. Oh, you're Bernardo with the top to Morgan. First time. Bicycle shoot. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, my God. How are we not 1 0 left? Honestly. Oh, let's put the top. Oh, the ball's gone over the top to our youth guy. What is going on? He's going to score his debut. He has! He scored on his debut! It's our youth guy! What has gone on in this game? We are beating Manchester United 1-0 with a brand new youth guy who has just come on as a sub in the cam position and made it 1-0 Morgan with the assist. He has some pace on him, let's just say that. I can't believe it! I actually cannot believe it right now. We've just done that. Whoosh! Come on, that's tactical mind, that is. That's a tactical mind. Oh, my God. This could be two for him. Oh, my God. That is amazing. He is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that he has just won us the game from bringing him on as a substitute. This is brilliant. We have got ourselves a prospect on the horizon. Imagine him and Morgan. Oh, my God. When he develops a bit more, he could be the new Cam and Morgan could go up front. That partnership could be something else to you guys. It's going to be insane. So the league table looks something like this. We are playing one game ahead of Spurs, but we are on 20 points. Seventh place. You cannot deny we are doing pretty well at the minute and our form is on point. That guy has gone up by plus two. He's gone up by plus two in one game. God, that's insane. So we're going to keep developing him. Him and Morgan. I'm going to keep developing them both in the training. And obviously, of course, we'll chuck one or two in. We're going to put two for him, two for Morgan, and then one random player every single week. That's what I think we might actually do. So Lee Taylor's looking good. Top goal scorers does go to Morgan. Currently nine goals. 
and uh, assists. We haven't got anyone up there at the moment. And uh, Gomez is actually on the most on nine clean sheets. So that's nine clean sheets out of how many games? 13 games. That's not too bad, is it? We've only conceded in four games. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. It's actually one of my favourites. This was a beast. Other than the crap footage at the start uh, in the West Ham game. But we won every single game to get a total of nine points. And I think we are coming together as a team now. The formation is perfect. And I feel confident on switching players. Like Lewis Cutt did well then. I don't know if the youth guy will do it next game when we do play. Who are we playing next uh, episode? Let's have a look. When we do play our oh, Villa, he could actually do it against. Actually, he could do pretty well against these players. But we're not going to start him. We're going to keep bringing him on as a substitute at the minute. Because that's what I want to utilise him in. And, of course, we're going to be training him. Morgan and this guy. Is he going to be a perfect partnership? Are they going to come aligned? And, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss a video, make sure you subscribe for plenty more FIFA 16 content. Tell me you do like the editing style. It's there. And uh, more... Improvements coming. Just so you know, there's more improvements coming very soon. I got graphics coming, like, and my phone goes off. Guys, that's me to go. I'll see you next time. Peace.